The coffee is absolutely perfect. And I'm going to tell you why. My wife Heidi made it this morning. And of course, it's always better in the Are You Serious Jesus Saves Coffee Cup. But don't tell Vladimir Putin that. He'll throw you in jail. What? He'll say, who authorized that cup? It wasn't the Kremlin. It wasn't the KGB. I'm now in charge. That's right, folks. Vladimir Putin is back in power. But no, 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 no. Was he ever out of power? I mean, think about it. He was president of Russia for eight years. Then he took a little four-year break and handpicked Dmitry. And now he's back. He was the prime minister then, of course. And now he's back with a 63% stomping, just crushing the polls. I mean, he had more votes than Romney will get. Excuse me. Uh, or Obama will get. And this guy won by a huge, huge margin. And the people were so happy with this, such a huge victory as it surrounded him. And guess what they did? Tens of thousands of Russians poured into Moscow's Red Square and began to chant, no, 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 we have the power, we have the power, we have the power. Except they did it in a Russian dialect that, believe me, Paul Begley vocabulary cannot perform. But what did he do? Step out with the applause and say, welcome, my people. No, he took his, his rivals, those that were, <laughs> that were of opposition to him, and threw them into jail, throwed folks into prison, slammed the doors on it, brought the riot police in, busted a few heads, and said, thank you for my inauguration back to presidency of Russia. I'm Paul Begley. Let's get serious. What? Has Gog emerged as the Bible said he will? Let me read to you a verse, and then I'm going to read to you an article of what's going to happen today in Russia. You better hang on. You got you, you you think this thing is calming down? It's just begun. Let me read to you first of all what the Bible says. The Bible says in Ezekiel chapter 38. Now we're not we're not ready for the Ezekiel Gog and Magog war. But we are setting the table. The dinner will be served. As the Middle East is burning right now. As Medulajad of Iran continues to move forward with his nuclear weapon program. As Benjamin Netanyahu begins to shake his fist and say, if it walks like a duck and talks like a duck and acts like a duck and smells like a duck, well, it could be a duck. And as the, the, the President of the United States, with his meeting in the Oval Office here in the United States of America, has told Benjamin Netanyahu, please don't hit him, please, wait, wait, wait. But if you do, we've got your back. And Russia's, and uh, of course, Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu said, great, that's wonderful, but whether you do or not, God's got our back, and we're going to crush the Iranian regime if it looks like it has a nuke. But here's what the Bible says. Paul, what does that got to do with Gog and Magog? Well, first you have to understand that in Daniel chapter 11, 41 through 45, it talks about an antichrist spirit beginning to move into the glorious land and many nations will be overthrown it says including egypt and libya and he'll stand at the steps of ethiopia well what has happened in northern africa and in the middle east we've seen ivory coast change hands as they got rid of president Kabo. and tunisia got rid of its 23-year dictator ben ali it was it was the egyptians who overthrew their 32-year dictator Jose Mubarak. Then it was Libya. Saying, I mean, the, and, 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 Mubarak Gaddafi says, I, I, Libya, I, Libya, I, Libya, Libya. 42 years, they dro drug him out of a drainage hole and shot him in the head in the streets. In Yemen, it was Ali Alabalalala Saleh. Well, they made him go away after trying to kill him seven times. And now it's President Assad who says he's going nowhere despite the fact that President Obama and Secretary of State Hillary Rodham Clinton says he must go. It's bloody. It's ugly. It's nasty. He's killing people, shooting people, raping people, murdering people, blowing up buildings, snipers, machine guns, tanks. And while that's going on, quietly, in the land of Iran, Maud Ahmadulajad continues to softly and secretly build his nuclear weapon program. What's going to happen? Are we watching the Bible come together right before our very eyes? Is the Antichrist just around the corner? 
Is the system of the beast, is the technology to actually implement a mark of a beast here? Is there such a thing, Paul, as a microchip that could hold all my medical records, my personal information, my driver's license number, my voter ID card, if there is such a, way, a thing, my banking account, a GPS, my health records, my, even my insurance policy number, even the 1-800 number to Aetna? What? Yes. The chip exists. You can think Lucent Technologies and several other manufacturers for coming up with such great technology. Where are we at right now? That doesn't mean it's going to be used. It just means the technology exists. And we all know that every time a technology exists, it usually gets used. But let me read to you what it says in the Bible here in Ezekiel 38. As it relates to Vladimir Putin, the Bible says, And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog. Well, who's Gog? And the land of Magog. Well, we know Magog represents the nation from the north, the bear of the north, or uh, generally it's looked at as some of the portion of Russia. We're not saying anything wrong with the Russian people. There's a lot of great Christian Russian people. Just telling you where this will rise from. A matter of fact, there's a great move of God in Russia powerful Christian move in the midst of the storm, in the midst of years of communist oppression, lack of freedom, lack of worship, lack of churches, lack of Bibles. Somehow in the midst of all this oppression, the Spirit of God has risen up in a mighty move of God of revival. Street preachers continue to preach the gospel. I've received videos, emails from some of those very street preachers who are holding down the fort for the Word of God. But something evil cometh this way. It refers to Gog and Magog, the chief prince of Meshech and Tabal, the prophecy against him. And say, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshech and Tabal, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth, and all thy army, horses, horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields and all of them handling swords. In other words, God said, I will bring you in to the light. I will hook your jaw and pull you out. Bring all your armies with you. I will bait you into the great battle. Participating in that great battle will be Persia, which is Iran, Ethiopia, Libya with its new regime, of course, Gomar, which are descendants of Russia, and Tagarma, who are descendant tribes of Turkey. It doesn't really matter where those individually are. It's the fact that they will rise. My question is, is Vladimir Putin Gog? Well, before we answer that question, let's go read what's going on. Quickly, Russia's opposition has vowed to wage a campaign of civil disobedience today on this March the 6th, 2012, after police have detained hundreds in rallies against Vladimir Putin crushing victory in the polls. I thought it was his crushing of their heads after the election. Tens of thousands will be coming out on the streets of Moscow and other cities refusing to leave, said popular blogger Alexei Navene, told reporters after spending part of the night in detention. What? We will keep doing this until our demands are met. Nalvani and two other leaders of the desperate anti-Putin opposition were due to attend hearings today after refusing to break up a rally in Moscow late Monday when given a police ultimatum. You see, Monday's protest in Moscow and St. Petersburg mark a sobering start for a leader who knew no dissident uh, uh, while dominating Russia in his first two terms in the Kremlin back in the year 2000 through 2008. Putin is in charge. You will see now he will rule Russia with a rod of iron. My question to you is, are you saved? If you can't, can you see the, 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 the positions of everything coming together? This thing is getting ugly. Are you born again? Give me a personal message. Send it right now. Tyler, I want to be saved. I want to be saved. I want